Using the same dark wood mixture, I add in the shadow part of the bridge and move in a zigzag motion, which causes me to pick up some of the bluish color from the snowbank, which then creates the reflective light onto the planks. For the remainder of the snow, I'm going to go between the cool gray and the warm gray to create the shadows of the snow, and I'll pull in the colors that I see or want to be present to enrich in the colors. For the snow that is on the path, this area is mostly in sunlight, so I'll be using the yellow and white mixture intermittently with the cobalt blue and titanium white mixture, which are the two bright colors that we used in the sky. Once again, I'm going to take a dry, soft brush and smooth the edges and gently blend the shades to create a subtle transition in value. Notice that I am leaving some of the darks and some of the lights. I will exaggerate these areas at a later stage of the painting to really call out the depth of the snowbanks. I'm taking some sap green, cobalt blue, and a little alizarin crimson plus titanium white to make a brownish green mixture for the wood planks that are in the light. To add a touch of the light to the wood planks, I'm going to add some yellow ochre to the greenish mixture. To make it even go a little bit lighter, I'm going to add a little touch of that white to that yellow ochre greenish mix. Notice how my strokes are moving in a cross-like motion, 
so that the light is moving with the planks. to the planks, I'm adding a touch of burnt sienna. The structure of the wooden planks has gotten a bit lost, so I'm going to go back in with the dark wood mixture and with a quick brush stroke, creating the indication of the occasional uneven plank. At this point, I'm still not ready for hard transitions, so I'm going to take my soft dry brush and soften the edges ever so slightly. And it's at this point the whole painting is wet and I know I want to add another layer to the sky before I begin placing the trees in. So I'm going to have to put this painting aside and work on another. This process is one of the many things I love about oil painting. You can have multiple paintings going on at once and you get to choose which painting you want to work on next. So enjoy the process Enjoy your time in your studio.